The Cecilia Duggar for the New York Times at Kwamfundo High School, not far from downtown Cape Town in South Africa. I spent the better part of a week at this school reporting on South Africa's struggling public education system. The students I talk to have great faith in the power of education, even those who aren't doing that well academically. They dream of being the very things their country needs most. Engineers, scientists, doctors. But 15 years after the end of white rule, the legacy of apartheid haunts them and their school. Most of the teachers in South Africa's system were educated in a separate and inferior system that deliberately tried to make blacks into laborers who would serve the white minority. Now, despite increased spending since apartheid ended, many schools are still failing to give kids the education they need to escape poverty. A big problem is teachers who are late to school and absent a lot. When teachers are missing from class, they're often not held accountable. Also, teachers, even when in school, spend too little time actually teaching. Even so, students are full of hope. I want to be an engineer in chemistry. Oruetu Twalantini is the student body president. So when it comes to be in a classroom, you know, without a teacher, I usually stand up in the class and say, class, can we do that and do that? And I know they will listen to me. Two years I didn't have the proper teacher. Luando Mizandizi wants to be a doctor. I grew up in rural areas. And I, I do believe that there is a shortage of doctors there. Mm -hmm. When Luanda was a boy, the older brother he idolized died from complications of diabetes. He believes decent medical care would have saved him. The death of my brother, I do believe, is the cause of the lack of, of doctors. And that's the reason why I choose to do medicine. But Luando is failing in science and he's not alone. South African children score at or near rock bottom on international achievement tests. For a country trying to enter the global economy, this does not bode well. You have to believe in order to achieve. Blondie Manso dreams of becoming a doctor or an environmentalist. I haven't written my final examinations, but I do have hope that I may be above that 50%. I may succeed. I maintain a, a straight A or a B plus so I can go to the institutions that I want to be so I can have a better education. One, two, three. There are dedicated teachers who come in early and stay late to help their students excel. Arthur Mungueto, the math teacher, believes singing wakes up his students in the morning and gives them energy and inspiration. He sometimes talks to us about life and how to go about living a good life. Life lessons are important for Blondie. Her parents and her big sister died of AIDS. I asked her how she's managed to be such a joyful person. I am the only one that tells myself that I have to be confident. I have to have a positive attitude in life in order to achieve my dreams. Half South African children never make it to 12th grade, let alone university.